Hello and welcome. I am Harish and in this channel I talk about various snowboard tools using which you can build pretty much anything and this is episode 8 of building with tally.so. Tally.so is a insane tool that lets you create beautiful forms that can pretty much be used anywhere be it embedded on a website or be it you sharing them through any social media channels or just your motion page right they can be put anywhere and uh, they look seamlessly integrated into whichever page it is because they don't have any jazz unlike uh, google forms or type form and in this episode 8 we are going to look at all the other integrations that are possible using tally.so where we've already covered some of the integrations which are creating uh, forms and integrating them with notion database or migrating the data or automatically getting the data on google sheets or be it embedding the form anywhere you want or also automating the forms using uh, zapier where we've looked at an example of how you can create calendar events based on the form submissions and uh, the data that you get from the form for all of these videos do check out the playlist or the link in the description below where you can see how to do all of this by yourself right and th in this one particularly we look at the other integrations that are available and also look at one or two examples of what we can do with these integrations so the first one that we are going to look at is for every form you can integrate or enable integrations directly from uh, the integrations tab that you get here so under the integrations tab we've looked at google sheets already notion let's quickly look at uh, how airtable integration works i'm just going to click connect also remember that my airtable is already logged in in case you don't log in it uh, really doesn't matter because i'm just going to click on connect so it is going to ask me the api key the base id where you want to send the responses to and the table name and you have to map the fields so this is pretty much how the integration works with notion as well so you have to create a table first in airtable and then map the fields individually to the airtable field and then the responses get sent you also have the option to send all existing responses directly if you have any existing responses before you enable this integration you can do that also that's how the api uh, sorry airtable integration works then you already seen how Zapier works. Just like Zapier, there is another tool called Integromat. Integromat also enables you to link Tally to multiple other things. Let's quickly look at the page where the Tally integrations are. We are on the Integromat website, which shows uh, what are the integrations available for Tally, right? So you can send Slack notifications using Integromat and the Tally integration. So when somebody fills a form, if you want a notification in Slack, you can do that by enabling this integration and you can also create pdf documents using pdf monkey by using the responses that you get on the tally forms you can also create google calendar events we've already done this through zapier this is pretty much the same thing you can create events from the responses that people submit on your forms then you can also do create new intercom, intercom users intercom is a support app which you can integrate on your website where people can ask you questions directly from the website as a live chat feature and intercom is one of those uh, platforms that offers this so you can also do that integrate uh, intercom and create new users when somebody submits a form on tally and the last option that is available through integromat is being able to create new contacts in hubspot crm hubspot is a popular tool that let, lets you run uh, crm for your company so you can create new contacts and your sales team if you have a larger sales team or any team that handles leads can take over through hubspot you don't have to give them access to tally or notion or google sheets or whatever just integrate directly using hubspot right so these are the integra integrations that are available in integromat through tally as of now what are the others right let's go back let's see what what else we have so some of these integrations as i already mentioned are through zapier they are also possible through integromat because zapier and integromat pretty much offer the same functionality while zapier may have a larger base of tools which is 2000 plus tools then there is webhooks webhooks are uh, a way to push data from one app to another app this is a very popular programming term where people usually use webhooks when they want to push data to somebody else in this case if you want to push data when somebody submits a form on tally forms then you use a webhook and give 
take the webhook from the developer and add it to your tally form and then start sending the form submissions to the webhook directly. Let's quickly look at uh, one way to do it. I'm just going to click connect and it will ask me to put the webhook URL. For the webhook URL, what I'm going to do is just for this demo, I'm going to use a tool called Integrately. Integrately is also a very similar tool like Zapier and Integromat. I'm going to click a new integration here. So the first app we need is a webhook. So I'm going to enable webhook. Webhooks are available for free only on Integrately. They're not on Zapier. So keep a, keep in mind that. And once a webhook entry is created, what to do with it, right? You can select any of these apps that are available. And for the sake of this demo, let me just do Airtable. Only for the demo, I'm not going to push data to Airtable. This is another way of pushing data from Tally.so to uh, Airtable directly without using the integration available in uh, Tally.so. Don't get confused. I'm only showing you how webhooks work, right? So let's quickly go. So you have to select what happens when an operation is performed or data is sent to the webhook, what to do, right? So we'll just do create record in Airtable for the sake of this example. We'll only look at how the data is received when you send some data to the webhook. That's the point of uh, this example. This is the webhook URL. I'm just going to quickly copy this and go back to my tally.so and paste it here and click connect. Now the webhook is connected, right? And you can click on events log and see how many times the data has been sent and what data has been sent, right? We'll do a test quickly. Send test event. It will send some test data to webhook. As you can see, this is successful. And the data that has been sent is this as per all the options available, as in all the fields that are available, right? So the checkbox selected this option, so on. And let's see what appears here. So I'm just going to do, I've sent a test record here. I'm just going to select this and click on test connection. Now we should see the data here that we sent from tally. See, all this is the data that has come from tally and the submission and the form details. This is how it works. Depending on the type of form, the complexity of the form you have, this data will be more or less, right? So that's how you can integrate webhooks into tally. And what else? What are the other integrations that we have? Let's also quickly see the Zapier integration before we end this video, right? So these are all the options that are available for pairing tally with other apps in Zapier. You can do send Slack notifications. You can send email notifications from Gmail. You can send uh, the data to Google Sheets, which you've seen. You can also up update your MailChimp subscribers using Zapier. You just have to connect your MailChimp account and send your data to MailChimp account. Then you can create Google Calendar events. This is something that we've seen. The link to that video is in the description below. You can load more and see all the other types of integrations that are available on Zapier through tally.so. So all of these integrations are free, right? They are not behind a paywall and you can absolutely enable any of them for free. And if you want to request any feature, tally.so also has a way to do that. If you, if you have a tool that you want them to build the integration for, you can also go to the roadmap. I ended up here from the integration tab here by clicking here. The roadmap is here clearly visible as to what they are building, what are the integrations, what are the customizations they are building, so on and so forth. And also make a feature request. Just type your request, explain it in detail and give your email address and provide the request. And they'll, if, if this is something that multiple people are requesting on the platform, they'll definitely be able to address it. And these are some of the features, as you can see, are being built as we talk right so for now they are working on the embed block so which is basically being able to embed something inside the form itself right now we have different types of text fields different types of number fields different types of conditional fields that we can create the pricing field etc they are also now working on an embed block where let's say if you want to integrate a youtube video you should be able to embed it or if you want to embed some form of other payment gateway and if they offer payment gateway as an embed system that you can do so all of these features are the free features that are available in tally.so and I hope that was uh, useful. Drop a like if you found it useful and consider subscribing if you are into no code and if you know somebody who's looking to find developers to build a simple MVP, send them here because our channel is all about 
building stuff without coding and uh, this is the end of episode 8 of all the free features available in tally.so see you in episode 9 where we will look at all the pro features and if it is really worth the upgrade so see you in the next one peace